Good morning, Miss Ultra here. Um, so this is not going to be a live video. This is going to be one that I record and then I upload to Facebook so y'all can watch it that way. And it'll also be uploaded to um, Nebo's YouTube page. Okay. Um, I'm going to share um, two other videos um, about what we're talking about. So if you could watch those before you watch this video, that would really help. One's going to give some background information on the moon since that is what our passage that I'm going to be doing is about today. I'm going to be doing the moon journal. Um, so it'll give some really good background for your child um, about the moon. And then I'm going to share another video that kind of goes through the moon phases, kind of what I have a picture of, um, because it's kind of hard to understand um, even with the first video, like why you can still only see like why it's only reflecting certain parts of the moon. Um, so this lady, she actually kind of does an experiment and the kids get to watch the experiment as she like circles around. Um, and it really kind of shows them what it looks like whenever you can't see anything with the moon or when you can just start to see that sliver. Um, so if y'all want to watch both of those videos, they will really help them um, understand and get some background information before we read into our passage. Okay, so those will be shared with this video as well. All right, um, so I'm going to go ahead and start the moon journal. And remember, this is one of our fiction texts. It has a make-believe character, and he is learning about something real. Um, so it does have some facts in here, um, but it's still, it's not a true story. There wasn't really a little boy named Amur, Amur okay, um, or anything like that, okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and start. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the picture, but there's our title, The Moon Journal. So if we're thinking and we're predicting maybe about the moon, we kind of know what a journal is, right? Like you write in a journal. So maybe he's going to be doing some writing or some drawing or putting some thoughts down about the moon. And it's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see the outline of the moon, right? You can kind of see this side a little bit more than the other side. The rest looks black. Okay, so maybe we'll be hearing some stuff about that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start reading, okay? Amur, that's how I'm going to pronounce that name. Forgive me if it's wrong. Amur had learned about the moon in school. He learned that the size and the shape of the moon do not really change. But to people on Earth, the moon looks like it is changing, which is true. Whenever I look up at the moon, you know, some nights it's really big and it's like a really big circle. And then other nights it seems to just be like a little bit there, right? And then sometimes, some nights it feels like I can't see it or find it at all. One night, Amur saw the moon. It looked just like a sliver. Last week, the moon had looked bigger. So let's talk about that word sliver. Okay, it kind of reminds me of silver but it's not. Sliver is just like a sliver of something, like a little piece of something. Like I might give you a little sliver of pizza or something like that. So whenever it says it looked just, it looked like just a sliver, that means it just looked like a little bit of amount. Okay. All right. So, so far he learned that the size and shape of the moon doesn't change. Just to us, it looks like it's changing. And then he talked about that he can see the change. It looked just like a sliver, but then the week before, he thought it was bigger. Mm -hmm. Amur wanted to start a journal. He would draw the moon each night. The next night, Amur did not see the moon. So he saw a sliver, and he thought it looked bigger before, and then now he couldn't see anything. He colored the page in his journal black for the night sky, right? And he didn't draw anything but the black because he couldn't see the moon. The next night, he saw the sliver again. So then he's starting to see a little bit. Amur drew the moon every night for three months. He noticed a pattern. Okay, so let's talk about a pattern is whenever you start to notice something over and over. Emmer noticed that on some nights he could not see the moon. Then the moon would appear again. 
It seemed to get bigger for many nights until it became a bright circle. Then it appeared to get smaller again. Okay, so he journaled and he was drawing what he saw. He did it for three months and he started to notice things. Some nights he couldn't see the moon, but then it would come back and then it seemed to get bigger and then it would be a full circle, but then it started to get smaller again. So he's kind of noticing these patterns of um, there might not be anything there. And then he starts to notice it gets bigger and then it's a big circle, but then it starts to disappear again. Okay. All right. I'm going to read it through one more time. And you just kind of listen, and then we will um, talk about it a little bit, okay? And then we'll work on our questions. Amur had learned about the moon in school. He learned that the size and the shape of the moon do not really change. But to people on Earth, the moon looks like it's changing. One night, Amur saw the moon. It looked like just a sliver. Last week, the moon had looked bigger. Amur wanted to start a journal. He would draw the moon each night. The next night, Amur did not see the moon. He colored the page in his journal black. The next night, he saw the sliver again. Amur drew the moon every night for three months. He noticed a pattern. Amur noticed that on some nights, he could not see the moon. Then the moon would appear again. It seemed to get bigger for many nights until it became a bright circle. Then it appeared to get smaller again. All right, so let's talk about, let's go back and let's talk about some of these details that Amur is seeing. And I kind of have the phases of the moon so we can talk about what he sees. Um, so you can kind of, whenever he says that he's only seeing a sliver or that he's seeing um, nothing and he just colored it black, so you can kind of see what that looks like. So what I have here, and if you watch those other videos that I shared with this one, these are the phases of the moon, okay? So I'm going to go back and let's talk about what Amur learned. Let's get some of those details. So he knows the size and shape of the moon do, do not really change. So that's why on my picture, okay, I have the same size circle all the way around because the moon does not change sizes and it doesn't change shape. Let me zoom in a little bit there, okay? It's going to be the same shape no matter what. It's just sometimes whenever um, the sun's reflecting off of it, we just can't see as much of it from where we are. Um. So he said that the moon looks like it changes. It, it is changing. So for us here on Earth, it does look like it might be getting smaller, changing sizes. But that's just, that's only because that's the part of the moon that we can see at that time. Okay. So one night, Amur saw the moon and it looked just, looked like just a sliver. Okay. So whenever he is saying that he just sees a little sliver and we talked, I talked about sliver, that means just a little piece. Okay. He's probably talking about it whenever it is like this one, that sliver right there. Oh, you can't really see my words. I'm sorry. Might be a little bit better. Okay, he's talking about just a sliver, okay? That's the black part that he can't really see, and that's the only sliver of the moon that he could see. Or he could be talking about, um, nope, that one, okay? Whenever he can just see a little sliver of that moon. I pointed to the wrong one, okay? So when he's saying that he can just see a little sliver, he's either seeing this part of the moon or this one, okay? So that's whenever he can just see that little bit and the rest of the moon is black. Okay. Let me go back into our text. So then he starts his journal, right? Um, and I love that um, this or your packet actually comes with a moon journal. So you can do what Amur did um, yourself. You can um, start a moon journal and every night go outside and draw what the moon looks like just like he did and see if you can start to see the patterns that he saw. Okay, so he started his journal. The next night, Amur did not see the moon. Ooh, trying to get you to my board. There we go. He did not see the moon. Okay, so we were trying to decide which one he, he was at, right? Was he at this one where he just saw a little sliver or was he at this one where he just saw a little sliver? But he said the next night Amur did not see the moon. So then it, was it this one? If it was this one, he should have been able to see half the moon, right? But if it 
But if he saw this one that night, then the next night he would have saw nothing. That's whenever he didn't see it. Okay, so when he first starts out, he actually saw that little sliver. And then it says the next night he did not see the moon. So that's when he just drew that black. Okay, so this is when you can't see the moon at all. And it's called a new moon. The next night he saw the sliver again. So really he is going this way. This is where he started and he's going this way. So I'm going to put that sliver back up. Now we know kind of where he started. He started right here. Then he saw nothing. Then he saw the sliver again. Okay. Amur drew the moon every night for three months. He noticed a pattern that on some nights he could not see the moon, like right there. Then the moon would appear again. And it would seem to get bigger for many nights. Like right there, it's starting to get bigger. Starting to get bigger. See, on this one, you're only missing a little bit, right? It seemed to get bigger for many nights until it became a bright circle. Okay, so when we can see the full circle of the moon, that's your full moon. Okay, and then it says then it appeared to get smaller again. So then the moon's going to start to get smaller. It's going to look like that little chunk is gone. We're not going to see as much, right? Now we're only seeing about half. Then there's that little sliver. And then it's going to go back to where you can't see nothing at all. And that's your new moon. And then it's going to start all the way back over, okay? And it's just going to kind of go through, okay? That's kind of the pattern. Those are the phases of the moon, okay? So I wanted you to be able to see and have a visual for what Amur was seeing whenever he was talking about um, in the text, okay? So when he says he can't see nothing at all, that's that one. When he says he just can see a sliver, it looks kind of like that. kind of reminds me of like a crescent or a banana. And then that's when he can see like half. This is when it started getting bigger. He can see a full bright circle. And then it starts to get smaller again and it goes over, okay? And I know those other videos that I'm going to share with this one, they'll go, they do a really good job of explaining why we can only see certain parts because of the reflection of the sun. Um, it just tells you a little bit more information about the moon, okay, that I think your, your kiddos would really be interested in. All right, so there was our story, and we talked about it and talked about some of the details that Amur um, had written in his journal and had talked about, okay? So now let's take a look at our questions. And see, now that we've talked about it, it should be usually the questions, once we have talked about it, are um, a lot simpler. All right, number one, what did Amur learn in school, Okay. So let's think back to what he learned. That was in, I think, that very first paragraph. He was learning about the moon, and he even said before he started looking at the moon that it doesn't change size or shape. It just looks to us like it does. So let's see if maybe that's one of our answers. A, the size and shape of the earth change all the time. No. The size and shape of the moon change all the time. Are they really changing? Or are we just, we just can't see it all, right? C, the size and shape of the moon do not really change. There we go. And that's one of those that is right there in the text. Okay. If you had a crayon or a highlighter, I would even go highlight it in the text. Okay. That way you know you got that answer right because it was right there in the text. How long does a mer draw the moon in his journal? That was one of those questions that was right there in the text. Okay. It says, Amur drew the moon every night for three months. Okay, so there's your answer for that one. I love that some of these are right there in the text, and you can go back and find it. Number three, what information from the text shows us that the moon looks like it is changing to people on Earth? So we need something that, that kind of talks about or shows us that it looks like it's changing. A, Amur noticed the moon seemed to get bigger for many nights until it became a bright circle. Does that show us that it's changing, that it looks like it's changing? It seems to get bigger. That's showing me it's changing. B, Amur had learned about the moon in school. That doesn't tell me anything about it changing. C, Amur drew the moon each night in his journal. That doesn't tell me anything about it changing. Number four. What is the moon journal mainly about? So before we even look at our answer choices, let's talk for just a second. What was this whole passage about? It's about a mer learning about the moon and kind of tracking its changes, its phases, right? 
A, how to keep a journal. Did it tell us how to keep a journal? That you go write your name and you write the date and then you would draw white for the moon and draw black for the rest. Did it, did it go through all the steps of doing a journal? No. B, how the moon seems to change. It did talk a lot about that. C, what Amur does before he goes to bed. I didn't mention anything about the moon, though. He, I mean, it could have been you brush your teeth before you go to bed and change into your pajamas, too, right? Okay. So how the moon seems to change is what this whole passage was about. Number five. If you look at the moon and it is a bright circle in the sky, how will the moon look next? Okay. And that was in the text. Um, it talked about it was a bright it seemed to get bigger for many nights until it became a bright circle. Then it appeared to get smaller again. So that is right there in the text, but my little diagram might kind of help us too. So if you look at the moon, it's a bright circle. So here the full moon is whenever it's that bright circle. How will the moon look next? Okay, so how does it look right here? It looks like it got a little bit smaller, right? What did you learn from the moon journal? Okay, so you could talk about that you learned the moon, the moon really doesn't change. It stays the same size. Um, you could talk about um, that um, it just looks different because that's the part that we can see and how sometimes it might be, you might not see anything and then sometimes you might see that little sliver using that word from the text, right? Um, number seven, explain how the moon appears to change to people on earth. Use information from the text to support your answer. So how does it appear to change to us? That would where you would be go back and get some of those details about sometimes you can't see it at all. And then you just see that little sliver. And then like Amur used in the text, he talked about it looks like it's getting bigger until you can see the full bright circle. And then it looks like it's getting smaller, okay? That's how it's appearing to change to us whenever we see it. Number eight, draw the pattern that Amur noticed after drawing the moon in his journal, okay? So that's kind of like the pattern that Miss Autry drew with our phases of the moon where he wouldn't see anything and then he would just see a sliver. It would get bigger and then he'd see the full moon and then it would get smaller, okay? So there is about the moon, um, so I would love if you guys wanted to draw your phases of the moon. Um, I've seen people do it with Oreos before. So maybe if you've got some Oreos at your house, you could do it with Oreos, right? Um, so if you wanted to do a new moon with an Oreo, that means you would need to eat all the cream out, right? And then here you would just leave a little sliver. Okay. And this one, you couldn't eat any of the cream, right? You need to see all of it. Um, or you could draw it for me. Um, I think you'll be doing some more stuff with the moon later this week with Miss Freeman um, in your science time. Um, but like I said, I'm going to show you one more time. It shows the My Moon Journal. Okay. And you can go through and you have a little spot for your date and you can draw what the moon looks like. And see if you notice the same pattern that Amur talked about and that Miss Autry has on hers. Okay. Alrighty. Um, make sure you watch those other videos. I'm really excited. I think they give some great information and, and I think they explain it really well on why we can only see what's reflected from the sun. Okay. All right. Have a great Wednesday. Love you bunches. Bye.